Hi, my name is Joanne Cogswell, and I've um, been involved with Create Studio for about a year now. I've taken a few courses there, and um, I work as a volunteer. For me, art is really more of a process than a product, and I really like to use art as a way to, you know, just calm down, slow things down, take a moment, be creative, think about things, and just kind of shut everything else out. And um, I think it's the best thing for your mental health to do that. Today I'm going to show you how to make this type of a, it's called a lap book journal. So with this journal, you can create this. And from just materials you have, simple materials that you already have at home. You need cardstock, I'm gonna have your paper, glue stick or double-sided tape. I got this at the dollar store, uh, masking tape, and scissors or a paper trimmer. Okay, let's get started. So now we have all our supplies together and we're going to build our journal. We're gonna start by cutting the cardstock. You can use cards, like, you know, scrapbook, from, from scrapbooking material, that's, that's pretty heavy cardstock. I like to just use index cards um, five by six, five by eight, three by five, four by six index cards. Um, those of you that have a kit, you have four by six index cards in there. So you start with that. You're going to cut three pieces. Four. Uh, today I'm making a four by six one, so that's how I'll use those measurements. You're going to cut three pieces of cardstock, four by six inches. And it's really quite simple if you use the paper trimmer. Okay, so now that we've got our materials all together, the first thing we're going to do is cut our cardstock. Those of you that have a kit, you already have four by six index cards um, pre-cut. You take the other one and cut two three quarter inch strips like this. And now you're going to take, lay your cards out like this, and then these will go like this. So this is how you set up your base, you see, so that you'll have, when we're done, it will look like this. You'll have a nice little square box. Okay, so the first thing you want to do, you've got those pages. I like to label them, the inside middle, the inside front, the inside back right because then when you're going to decorate it you'll know oh i wanted that for my cover so this would say cover inside left inside middle inside right and back and then the back cover so i've labeled these like that and you set them up like this okay and now you're going to tape get a piece of masking tape and put it right on the front here Like this. And so to cover up about half of the, about half of the, put the tape over so half of it is over and half of it is like that. Now you're going to turn this over and you're going to take your first gusset or binding and leave about an eighth inch gap. If that's hard to, and you're not really sure what to do, you can make yourself like a template, you know, so you sort of can see, okay, you know, I put it underneath the tape and then I can put it like this and then I know right where, and then I also know that they're all the same throughout the process. Now you're just gonna put this down here, leaving your eighth inch gap. Oops. Yeah, it takes a little bit of trickiness. Make sure my hands are shaking. There we go. Okay, now you're gonna just fold this over, fold this over. And there you go. The reason you left that gap was so that you'd be able to fold the book, especially as we make it thicker. Okay, then you just repeat that with this next piece. Put the tape there and there, and then flip it over, and you wanna have tape on both sides. So, still on my first. And just try to line up the tape here on the ends, like that, so you 
when you turn it back over, it lines right up. Just, okay, and just put it right over. You can use duct tape for this. There's all kinds of really fancy duct tape out there with penguins or different colors or whatever. Um, or you can use masking tape. The masking tape is nice because it's papery and you could paint on it or color on it or whatever. Okay, so you just repeat this process. Your next piece, tape both sides, just repeat what we just did. So you end up with your base all set up like this. So when you finish that, you will have this. Okay, and you'll see you created like a binding kind of on that side and on this side. Okay, that is the basic lap book. Now, the next thing you can do is you want to make it your own now. So, hmm, what do I want to do? Okay, well, I like to collect all kinds of things. You can, to make it your own, you can really do you know, just about anything you want. Those of you with a kit, you've got some kinds of papers. You want to start with making um, a background on there, or you can use clippings, you know, however it is that you want to decorate your own book. I'll show you a couple of examples. I like to, you know, print out quotes or I was looking at a magazine and I it was for sheets, but I found this beautiful print. So I thought that, oh, that would make a really nice background page. So here's some examples. Here's my one I made. And I had a piece that I had um, practiced some printing, painting with. So I saved that and I just cut that I used washi tape on the edge, and um, inside here I found some old book pages and more washi tape. Here I love this elephant, so I put that stamp on there. Um, this one is actually a pocket, which is something else you can do. A pocket, you can slip things in. Here I wanted a textured page, so I just did tissue paper like that, you know, different colors, whatever. This one is a little bit more uniform and it's uh, throughout. So I'll take out these inserts that we'll get to later and show you what some of the things we have here. Okay, so for this one, you know, I did my cover here and then I, I put the button on so that I could have a way to close the book. But here's my cover and you know, it says life is a grand adventure, go live it. And then I have this page here. I wanted just you know a couple of different things I cut out. This is like an old piece of paper. For the tape here, I just took um, like a tissue or a cotton ball or something and put it in a stamp pad and just went like that to try to get that. You could use chalk, colored paper, whatever, or pencils, whatever. Okay, and here I wanted, I made a pocket. And here I have another little pocket. And here I found these little, you know, these cute little, like old library checkout cards, whatever, so put that on it. So, yeah. I have um, dreaming, learning, the storyteller, let your imagination flow. So here is like, no, I could put some notes in here. Um, I was thinking maybe it would be cool like to write books that I wanted to read and then maybe some comments about the books or something like that. So anything you can, this is, this is where you make it your own, anything you want. And then on the back here, I had some more quotes and um, I just you know, did the covering. And it's really just decorate it how you want. Okay, so I'm going to use these just solid pages, solid papers as my background. So I wanna put that right on there. So you got your glue stick. You can use glue, stick, whatever. That tape runners are really nice. Okay, so now I'm gonna put this, I just wanna make sure you put it right where you're gonna keep that gap in there. Okay, I think I'll have that there. And then, of course it's not the right size, so I'm gonna go ahead and trim that up. And 
and then it's going to be just a little different color on here. Again, you've got your binding, so make sure that you keep that gap in there. And that's where you're going to put this page. This is going to be my inside middle. And this is where I wanted a pocket, so I'm going to, now I remember that's there. So now I'm going to put this in, keeping the gap. Oh, it's a little too big, so I guess I'll have to trim that off. trimmers are great, aren't they? Okay, so now I'll put this here. There we go. And then trim that up. If you're good, if you're accurate at measuring, you can measure your papers ahead of time. I just think this is easier. So now I've got here, it's my page will still fold. You're going to be adding to this, which is why you, you want so much in between here, because we're going to add inserts and you can add pages, so this is going to get thicker as you go along. So in the middle here, I'm told there's going to make a pocket. So I'll put this back on here, this. To make the pocket, I'm just going to, you could make it like this here, glue down these three sides, and then you can, that way you could stick a card in or anything like that. So that's your basic simple pocket. I'm going to do it a little bit differently on this because I have this that I really like. So I'm just going to make it like, like this here, and then that will be the pocket. So I'll just have to go along. Make sure I have this the right size. Cut a little bit off here. So I'll probably have to. So it's just you know kind of back and forth. So you get exactly what you want. But this is the part where you can just you know, put some nice music on, or just think about what you got to think about because you know it's just it's your project. There's no rules. There's no right or wrong. This is how you want to do it. Okay, so when I take this on, then I'm going to be able to put pictures or anything I want in there. So, take your glue stick and just go all the way along there. I really like the double-sided tape. It's really easy to use. Or these tape rollers they make it nice and easy for the, to, you know, Blue stick, anything will work here. Just around the edges. Oops. And then you glue that right in, just on the three sides. There's my pocket. So, there's that. Okay, now I have a plain page here. If you want, you can go ahead and put your background pages on all six panels, like that, or even if you want to cover your binding, you can. Or, um, yeah, so, you know, maybe I want to have this card there, or maybe I want to have this kind of paper, this cool design here, so I would just cover that up. If you want just a whole solid background. If you want to have a part of it be here, and then you want to piece things together, I like doing that with, like, old book pages. I think that's kind of cool, and I like to just rip them up. You could do it magazine things, anything, and then I just put my glue all around here. And then I'm just going to make sure this edge is lined up over here and on the bottom. But other than that, I'm just going to have it overlapping like this and, you know, just kind of like collage method of doing that. So. If you have something that you, uh, I had some tests done and I got a letter in the mail that said, we are happy to report that your results are normal. So that was a pretty big deal. So something like that, you know, you could kind of want to remember that and put that in. So 
all right, so again, if, if you don't want to be patient, you can just do it like this and trim it. What the heck? That's usually my way. Okay, so I'm just gonna put this all down like that. Maybe I want to have a little fold in there. Why not? You know, so see, so see, that's what I mean. There's no rules. You can do however you like. It's your project. And then I can just take my scissors and trim that up. And my trimmer here. Okay. So now you've got your background pages. Go ahead and click on those. So you can just trim that up. And I'll trim these as well. Okay. So now I want to add different types of paper. So these are things I want to remember. So I just got some graph paper and just, you know, made like a little stack. I can stick that in there. You know, I can pull that out if I want to take notes or something like that. Um, any other kind of lined paper, graph paper, tracing paper, whatever you want to use. Somebody sent me a little Photograph, you can stick that in there, whatever. Okay, so that's how you add and add and add to it. Okay, and then let's see. So you're gonna go ahead and do your background here on all your pages. Maybe since this is a book page, maybe this is where I'll use those little book tabs. That might be kind of cool. So maybe I'll make another pocket here. So I could make it, hmm, out of cardstock, I can make it out of paper. Really, you can do whatever you want. I showed you how to make a pocket. You could put a pocket there. Maybe here I want to have uh, different uh, examples of scraps of fabric or something. Just, all right. Okay, so I've showed you how to make a pocket, how to create your own kind of background, how to use just a, a solid background. Uh, let's say maybe you want to take something from a magazine and just find the part of it that you really like. I like the way this goes like that, so maybe I want that to be there. So just you know, decide that that's how I want it to be. So then I can maybe maybe do some journaling and write along the edge or something like that. So you could make it you know, like that. We just go like this and then of course just trim it off like that. Okay. So now you've got a, a number of options of ways that you can decorate your pages. Okay, so when your book is all done and you've done what you like to do and so forth, you can add Midori style pages. So that's going to be something like this. So I just took some paper, just any kind of paper, folded it in half. So I made this like a little book. This is called a signature when you, when you create a book. So this could be anything you want. You can cut your paper up. And here I did one with just some graph paper for writing on. This one has, you know, just decorative paper or whatever. And then you can take like a, those elastic hair bands, or this is just elastic string, or you could use a piece of ribbon, anything. And you just put this in inside your little inclusion. Put your, like that. So this would be one signature. And say I wanted to have another one. I could, you know, I could do another one. So then I'm going to just take my signature. This is how they make books, they signature, signature like that. So I'm going to take this first one and I'm just going to put it, put the band on here like this. And then I'll just go to the middle of the signature and pop that in right there. So I could have one on this side do another one on this side um, which would probably make more sense I'm right-handed that would make more sense than having it I guess it wouldn't matter okay so I you know I have these two signatures so I'm gonna put the band here and then I'll just put this one in and you can add as many as you want of these different types of signatures okay so that's the Midori style in signature. There's another type of inclusion we can make. It's a little bit more complicated, but you're going to 
do a similar, take two pieces of cardstock like we did in the beginning and just tape them together with, a, well, with an eighth inch gap, like how we did here when we first started out. Do that on both sides. Now this will fold here, will fold here. Okay, so this is like a different kind of signature that's made with cardstock. So I'll put my there. And then in, in within this signature, I've created a pocket. And uh, you can put whatever you want in there. Here's a little, this is my story. I made you know, a little, some paper. So you can put whatever you want in your pocket. So this signature is gonna have a pocket within it. There you go. Okay, so signature inclusion. There's another thing you can do, and I'll show you that by adding a third piece here, the same way we did at the other. I'm gonna leave a little bit of a gap. I'm gonna leave a little bit more of a gap because I've got two pieces of cardstock, it's kind of thick. So I just leave a gap here, tape this on, bring this over. I'm not too worried about this because I can cover that up with the paper tape. This side. Okay. And then can tape this up. Okay, then uh, we can put something on here to to um, decorate this side and decorate this side. And I'll show you what this is gonna do when we're done. Now we're gonna take this, I'm gonna put this in here like this, okay? And we've got a little fold out. It didn't work. <laughs> you have to make it smaller, that's the important part. Okay, so then this, is, this way we have the inclusion, but we can flip it out. So now we've got three more pages. We can go like this, you know, or we can, so we can have it like this. Or we can have it like this. I'm so excited to make it. Right? So maybe I'll do that part over again because it's important that you... So that, I feel like that's that last piece. Right now that we've made our little flip out, you'll notice that it, it doesn't quite fold as nicely as I'd like. So I'm going to trim that little bit off right there. See how that's a little bigger? So I think it's important to trim that off. So just take a little bit off that with our trimmer. And then you'll see how it folds a lot nicer. Now you'll see it fold like this, and now it will fold. So we can have it, put our stretchy elastic on here, or ribbon, you know, whatever. I just, I got this stretchy elastic in four colors at the dollar store. Can't beat that. All right, so now I've got my flip fold out. So I can have it like this. Of course, I would have this page decorated. So I can have it like this, or it can go like this, or like this. You know, there's all different kinds of ways you can, you can flip it. Depending on how you want to present it. Okay, so that's the basics of the lap book, creating, making it your own. Um, I put a link below um, to some resources of how I learned how to do it. Uh, give all this credit to Mike Deacon. He does, a, he does a really nice job of explaining it all. For closing your book, there's a number of ways. You can you could tie a ribbon around it. I just took a button and hot glued it on. And then I, you know, I have my little ins, insert or whatever there. So when I close my book up, I can just go like that over the button. Um, so there's, that's one way to close it. Another way would just be to tie, or take another one of your elastic bands maybe, and just tie it around. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this. Have fun. Create, create, create. And thank you for supporting Create Studio.